Testing one, two, three. Good. I think mic levels are good. Welcome, everyone. My name is Scott Ogren, and I am the author of the 28-Day Cleansing Program. I first learned about cleansing in the 1970s, late 1970s, and then went to a school for it in Boston in the mid-1980s, and then started immediately teaching it to other people. I wrote a book in the late 80s that sold 70,000 copies, and then I ended up writing very specific books on what I had learned, Cellular Cleansing Made Easy, and then the 28-Day Cleansing Program. Now, these are hardcover books, and you can still find copies of them, but everything that we're, of course, doing online now is now all on ebook, all on computers, which means you can use them on your cell phones, you can use them on your iPad, and so forth. The interest in the 28-Day Cleansing Program has never been bigger. In the last three months, I have gotten more people signed up in the three levels of the cleansing program than I did in the last year. And I think that makes complete sense because I think people are finally realizing that the strength of their immunity comes from the foods they are eating. And by strengthening and changing their diets, they can improve the function of their body, which improves the function of their immune system. So in this video, I want to take the questions that I get over and over again on my website and in my personal emails and in phone calls of the most common questions on nutritional cleansing. So let's dig right in. What is nutritional cleansing? Nutritional cleansing is a healing protocol that's been around for centuries and has been done by virtually every culture throughout history. There are, there are many variations from juicing to fasting to only eating soups and broths to only eating largely raw foods uh, or mainly cooked foods, but the common link with all of them is that for a set period of time, you eat lower on the food chain. You eat foods that are much, much easier to, to digest, don't have any metabolic waste to them to speak of, and are very, very easy on the body and have the results that people are looking for. So in this particular 28-day cleansing program, we combine them all. You'll eat real food, real meals, some raw, some cooked, some juicing, and there's never any need to go hungry, ever. You can eat as much as you're going to need to eat during that 28-day period. So for a set period of time, and in this case, four weeks, you organize and plan out and eat a much simpler diet. And we walk you through that process. We set you up. We teach you how to set up your kitchen so that it is a health-producing kitchen versus a non-health-producing kitchen. And then we show you how to set up what we call your food path, your food chain, so that everything you're putting into your body during that 28 days starts to do this transformation because food choices are oftentimes very, very ingrained. They're very unconscious. They're deeply habitual and they're usually tied to very, very strong, very old emotions and early memories. But I will tell you that by doing this, that simple action, that single dirt simple thing of changing your diet into a very simple one for a set period of time, it allows your body to go through a profound transformation where every interconnected system begins to repair itself. And you'll learn why it repairs itself through this 28-day cleansing program and the education that goes along with it. Your inflammation will disappear. You'll sleep better. Symptoms that you may have had for decades start disappearing. So that's nutritional cleansing. Why would I do a nutritional cleanse? Uh, the biggest reason people do nutritional cleanses is what I call this list. And the list is something that I mention in all my books, all my audio programs, and my podcast videos, everything. And it's this long list of symptoms that millions of people suffer from and are, whether they believe it or not, are related to their current diet or current nutritional choices. So the main reason people do a cleansing program is to reverse 
those symptoms and that are caused by, in the first place, what they've been eating probably for decades. And so they can return to a state of health. How does cleansing work? Another way this is asked is, how does a cleanse remove those symptoms from that list? So this to me is the most fascinating aspect of cleansing is probably the reason that I became so enamored with it. Not only because of the changes in my own body early on, but, but just understanding why that process occurs. Now there's quite a few components and I talk about all of them, but let's talk about the one that's the most important and probably most misunderstood and it's called metabolic waste. Metabolic waste is the stuff that's left over after your body breaks down and digests whatever it is that we're consuming. Now, normally when we eat a meal, our body breaks it down and uses the carbohydrates, uses the proteins, the minerals, the vitamins, and other components to you know, run and keep the body going. And there is almost always something left over. It can be fiber or fat or elements that the body can't, simply can't digest. It can be toxins, you know, that are elements that are inside of the food, but your body just simply won't use them. Now, in a healthy body, that's great. Those things get passed through normal elimination. Maybe you gain a little weight over the winter and then you lose it again in the summer. That's all fine. But if a body is overwhelmed, if the organ system is compromised, then what starts to happen is that these things collect. And then it becomes this snowball effect. The, the collection of that metabolic waste blocks the function of the organs, blocks the function of the cells, the, the red blood cells, the everything, all aspects of the body. And the body starts to break down because of this excess baggage that it's hanging on to. And that's not just fat. You can be thin as a rail and still have a lot of excess metabolic waste that the body is being hampered by. And we've all felt this before. And I'll give you an example. If you've ever eaten a really delicious delicious pizza, and let's say it's got, you know, triple cheese, quadruple cheese on it, and it's delicious. But the next morning, you might notice that, you know, your nose is slightly clogged up, or your voice is changed, or, you know, you feel a little sluggish, or your ears kind of clogged up. But generally, by the end of the day, that clears up because it's not something you eat every day. It's great. You've got, you had a nice party night and you feel great after a day. But now imagine if, you know, your roommate worked for a pizza place or, you know, your family just ate it every night or you just happen to have it not, a, not once a week, but every day for three or four weeks or a lot over the course of a winter or something. It's delicious. Why not? Then it becomes a problem because then instead of the body being able to clear that slightly clogged nose and things coming out of your eyes and your ears getting clogged up, now it's backing up. And it's not just the backing up. A lot of times in America, people think of backing up as saying, I've, I've gained weight. Again, as I said, you can be thin as a rail and still accumulating a lot of this metabolic waste. Well, that is where you start to get into trouble. Now multiply that out by not just a few weeks of a particular style of eating, but months and then years. And then we're talking decades and decades. And then all of a sudden you've got a system that is truly compromised. So that's really an example of metabolic waste. And part of the cool thing that's happening now in our culture is that for many, many years, those of us who taught cleansing had to fight against the a lot of the medical system that said there is no such thing as detoxification and uh, cleansing is just a stupid thing. It's not needed. Well, now you've got a lot more doctors and a lot more people in the classic medical field who acknowledge it, who are writing books on it. They're on TV and they've actually created a language around it. And one of the most fascinating uh, words that they created is something called uh, autolization or uh, from a word meaning self digestion, autolizing or aut autolysis. And in fact, I looked it up today and it says autolysis, the metabolizing of tissues and cells in an organism by actions produced with the organism itself. And another one is the destruction of all of these, all cells and tissues uh, of cells and tissues by the body's own enzymes. So there's now a word that they use to describe the cleansing process, the eating up of this meta excess metabolic waste, you know, the toxins, the mucus, the gunk that's left behind from 
you know, that has gotten clogged up by certain diets. So that's what cleansing does. And another way that they acknowledge it, you've all, you've all heard, you've all read now studies that show that heart disease, a change, uh, heart disease can now be changed, can now be improved by a change in diet. Well, that's what they're talking about is autolization. It means if you change your diet to a cleaner diet, the body can start to eat away that excess metabolic waste, that fat, all that cholesterol, all that stuff around the heart. And all of a sudden, six months later, a year later, all the markers from the test will show that your heart is now operating at a better, higher function. Why? Because of you did your own internal cleanse. You did a cleanse and now your, your heart is operating better. So that's basically why a cleanse works, why you would want to do it. Yeah, if cleansing works, how come my dermatologist hasn't told me about it? Well, you're asking the million dollar question. <laughs> and uh, the answer to that is you would probably have to ask the pharmaceutical industry. Um, because they're definitely the ones that lose a lot of money once you and once an entire culture starts doing their own nutritional cleansing. Uh, I'm now 65 years old. I haven't uh, had a pharmaceutical drug since I was 19 years old. I don't go to doctors. <laughs> I don't have any medications. I haven't had to do, had any surgery. I don't use any of their styles. So imagine how much money the that medical model has earned from me. It's approximately, I mean, I'd have, I'd have to do the math, but it's pretty low. So the answer to the question is, you know, follow the money, uh, follow the marketing money that goes into the Western healthcare model and the academic teaching behind that, because there is no money to be made in the healthcare industry once you start practicing cleansing. There's actually not a lot of money to be made in cleansing <laughs> because once you learn how to take care of yourself, well, no one, you don't need anyone's help. You learn how to do it. There's some questions, you know, and that's why we have the online form that you have access to me for, but you know, that's, and I'm just one example. Again, 65 years old, I've been using those cleansing principles for 40 years. I don't take anything. They haven't made a lot of money from me. I was introduced to nutritional cleansing back in the mid 70s from books, from very hard to find books before the internet. And uh, this was in the mid 70s. I dropped out of college. I was living in a small cabin in Colorado and a friend had a bunch of these very interesting books written over the last 20 or 30 years before that from uh, people like Dr. Weston Price and Dr. Bernard Jensen, and all of them referred to this connection between what we were eating and the diseases that we were getting in modern times and why, and explained why. And it made such logical sense to me that I did my first cleansing program. And I didn't know what I was doing at all. I didn't have anything. I still remember having a Swiss army knife to do a lot of my cutting of my vegetables. I was dirt poor, but the effect was so powerful that uh, in the mid eighties, I went and studied at a school called the Cushy Institute for nine months. We practiced this cleansing style and you saw transformation after transformation. And it was just this phenomenal slap in the face of what I had learned about how health works. So I went on to work for nutritional companies, uh, superfood companies. And then in 1994, I wrote my first book, which sold 70,000 copies. And I thought this people want to learn about. And then uh, a few years later, I wrote this book, Cellular Cleansing Made Easy, followed it up two years later with the 28-Day Cleansing Program, which really encapsulated everything I had learned. And then from there, I really brought it online and started teaching it to people. And now we've got three separate programs, three levels, depending on what your budget is. And it makes it so easy and so powerful. Well, learning kind of will come into two formats. One will be the things that you will do in your kitchen, how to set up your kitchen so that it is a health producing part of your house instead of a harmful producing. We'll teach you how to set up a uh, pantry and so forth. And I'll go into that in a minute. But over a couple of weeks, the main thing you're going to start to understand, I mean, you will get it internally, is that you'll start to realize that the majority of 
the vast majority of every digestive problem or skin condition or allergy or heart condition or blood, bacteria, fungus, yeast, internal terrain mess is the result of, as I said, this metabolic toxic overload stemming directly, directly from this you know, very new, historically new diet that we are using and, uh, you know, that we're consuming. And anyone who witnesses this healing process that you're going to go th through will no longer can you conclude that things like Crohn's and proctitis are, are conditions that just happen, but in fact are the result of choices that we started doing long ago it was i'm no different you know i was the same way you know growing up i grew up in wisconsin and oh, you should have seen the diet we ate but you will learn that process so the other things though that what you'll learn is you'll start to learn that food choices constantly affect this internal environment you start eating real food you will start to digest things better everything starts to disappear um other things that you're gonna see is uh, we you will learn understand uh, detoxification why it happens how to you know see the signals and realize oh this is a good thing you'll learn skills kit, uh, kitchen skills and kind of skills about how to choose food how to combine food and these are insights that you're gonna last you your entire lifetime that's one of the cool things about this cleansing program is that what you learn here inside of the first four weeks you can then take off and use for the rest of your life they're not something that will only last for this short period of time uh, you are also gonna see some old habits dissolve one of the coolest things that people learn by changing their diet. And I will just mention uh, this in particular. All of our cells have a life cycle. Everyone knows that skin has a life cycle of 90 days. Red blood cells has 90 to 120 days. Well, your taste buds live and die, not in years, but in days. And it depends on where they are located in the mouth, but they have a life cycle of either two days, four days, 10 days, as long as three weeks. What that means is that what food tastes to you, the things that you think, boy, this is delicious, I'm gonna eat this by the rest of my life. Well, what you start to learn inside of that cleanse is that your, your taste buds will change and your, the foods you crave will change over time. When you, when you get done with this cleanse and then you go back to eat, say, a scoop of ice cream, you may experience a total shock. You'll actually be kind of disgusted by it and you'll just realize this is so sweet and you'll feel the sugar hitting your system. And you realize, okay, I can do that once in a while, but I can't do that like I used to be able to do it. You're gonna learn how to set up the pantry. This is gonna be such a crucial thing. The last thing you're gonna learn is these protocols that speed up the results. There's a rehydration program that everyone's going to do because water is free or cheap. There's a sweat protocol. There is a um, body uh, alkalizing thing that I'm going to have you do. There's skin brushing. And then there's actually a percussion, percussion massage. It is the most effective massage that I've ever found for doing a cleanse. No, you will not have to join a food group or declare allegiance or philosophy to one particular you know, nutritional approach to life. Any epidemiological study of history will show that the, you can live to 100 years old using a lot of different philosophies. So you will not have to become keto or vegetarian or vegan. You may decide to buy some of the food choices you will learn, but you don't have to. This is not pushing one particular food alliance. Cleanses in the past were always difficult, and difficult I meant psychologically difficult because they oftentimes were so thin, uh, you know, caloric wise. And you don't have to do that in order to cleanse. I'll show you how to stay full, stay healthy, don't don't go through hunger, but you will eat certain foods, and you've got to make sure you have those foods at work while you're driving, uh, while you're in commute, for snacks at home. You can't run out of that, and that's why this cleanse takes. A few days of preparation. You can't just buy the book and say at 10 o'clock tomorrow I'm start. You can't. It takes a while to set it up. So that's one of the reasons it's so successful is I teach you how to prepare so you do not fail. Because people stick to the program, it has a very, very high retention rate. 
people get phenomenal results. I've gotten hundreds of testimonials. You'll see them on the website. You'll see them on the other videos, just a fraction of them. And that becomes this viral sensation. People get, you know, people will, will see you and they'll say, your eyes look cleaner, your skin, what happened? Wow, you look so young, what are you doing? And that's really, you know, the main things. But a lot of it comes down to the organization of your kitchen and uh, having a definitive start date and stop date. You don't do sloppy in this cleanse. You really have to look over the material and decide and you go, okay, I see what I need to do, so I'm gonna get that, and I'm gonna get that, and I'm gonna prepare it, and then I will start my cleanse on Monday morning or on Wednesday evening, and then you mark it out in the calendar. It's 28 days, it's not 26, it's not 33, it's 28 days, and that's why you get so successful at this. That's like saying you don't have the time to brush your teeth. The CEO of Twitter said something a couple of years ago. If it's not convenient, people won't do it. And this book, this program teaches you how to make it convenient. And I'm there all along the way on our private Facebook group. You get access to me on the phone. You get access to me on Zoom calls. So we make it really convenient. So you cannot use that excuse that you do not have enough time. Yeah, that's kind of a funny one because people will say, you know, I don't know if I believe this about metabolic waste or my dermatologist, you know, laughs at cleansing programs. That's fine. And what I tell people is you don't have to believe this program to get results. You just have to do it. It's a little bit like someone, you know, said, you know, I've been skinny all my life and you're a personal trainer. I'm positive that I'm not going to develop muscles. And if the personal trainer is smart, they'll say, that's fine. You don't have to believe that you're going to get results by showing up. You just have to show up. No one does a cleansing program and goes, meh, afterwards. No one. Everyone gets transformed because that's how biology works. No, you can follow it 40%, 50%. You'll still get great results. There are three levels to play with, and they all, all cost different amounts. You've got the basis, you've got the standard, and then you have the you know, all-in program. And it really just depends on what you can afford. I'm always pushing people towards the full-on program because you get me, and you get access to me during that month. And you also get a longer period of time when you can be on that private How Health Works group. Uh, and it is that connection with people that keep people motivated and it is sharing of the phenomenal stories that you hear from other people and you realize wow if that person can do it if that person can do it oh my gosh if that person came from that low of a level and got to that in that short period of time i can do this too so go to the website howhealthworks.com and pick a program and if you've got any questions before or you know, your concern if you can do it or in your particular condition. A lot of people will share with me. They'll say, well, what about this condition? And it's always funny because I always say, yep, it's going to help with the Hope this is helpful.